I missed a few uploads last month in the month of May and that's not like me. But if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been feeling creatively stuck and it was very hard for me to push through those feelings and keep creating when I'm not feeling creative. But the short trip that I took last month, I had some time to think about what I'm doing and how I'm to move forward. If you watched the last video, you know that I have decided to shelf the Rajput for now, set it aside for some time and work on something else and create something just for the joy of it. So I have finally decided to go forward with the story idea I worked on while I was on that trip. And today I'll be working on that story idea a little bit. I've already worked a little bit on the story idea, the character and the character's motivation, what are the conflicts that I can include in that story, the key emotions and uh, theme that I want to go for in my book. I did all this freestyle so just in my in my notebook I just wrote a few sentences and then went from there basically a little bit about a few scenes that came to my mind but today I want to go step by step and work on the story idea if you have a story idea and you're wondering whether your idea has the key elements required for it to become a full-fledged story watch this video where i've uh, shared my notes on how you can find out whether your story idea is good or not the first thing i'm doing is writing a one sentence summary of the story idea that i have now this is the beginning stages of uh, writing a draft so i'm not too worried about being perfect and uh, being grammatically correct and using the right words and I'm not looking for perfection. This is just me telling the story to myself and I can polish everything up later on. But I found that it's it's a good habit to start here because it helps not only flesh out your story but also later on when you are working on the marketing aspects of your book you can use these things polish them up at that time and use them in different ways while you are preparing your marketing marketing kit basically oh that's someone at the door let me come back i'm sorry for that it took some time so let me see where was i the things to keep in mind when writing your one sentence sum summary is it should be short. You have to mention the characters without mentioning their names. Or if you have like a cast of characters, then give like a description and uh, also include conflict in it. Your sentence should have these three elements when you are writing that one sentence summary. So that's what I'm going to do now. have that now if you need a little help with your one sentence summary check out the Amazon Prime videos or even Netflix or other places like these and uh, go to any uh, anything any movie or any serial that you're watching and check out the log line that they have over there so basically that's what you want to create for your story that you're writing the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use Save the Cat uh, template and write a short synopsis of my story. The book Save the Cat by Jessica Brody, it has a template in it and uh, she's, nice, uh, she's broken it down in a nice way where she tells you what to write in the first paragraph, in the second paragraph and in the third paragraph. Basically roughly gives you an idea of what each paragraph, how many number of sentences you should have and what to include in those uh, in that uh, synopsis so this is going to take me a little while now i'm not being fussy at this time i'm not aiming for perfection I'm going with whatever I'm thinking of and I'm just writing it down without worrying too much about grammatical stuff and being all rosy and flowery in my words I just want to get things 
on paper so that I can then clean it up. And I will be using these things when I'm creating my marketing media kit. So I'll be using these things. So it's nice to have them, but I also know that these will go through a lot of revisions and rewrites. So I'm not going to fuss over it. The synopsis usually will not have the ending in it because if you have that, you're giving away the whole story. Next, what I'm going to do is just copy paste what I already have and add the ending to that that page that I have now. And this is just for me. This is not going to be shared with anyone because I'll not want to share the ending with anyone unless I'm giving someone just to give me feedback. I'm going to add the ending that I have in mind right now. Probably this will change, but at least I can have something to start with. So that's what I'm going to do now. To see the truth around you From a distance you can tell So I've added just the ending, a little bit of the climax and what the ending would be. I have that. It's just, I think, what, four, four sentences. So not a whole lot, but it's something. Next, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to refer back to my notebook that I used while I was on that trip. And I'm going to quickly write few of the scenes that I had written at that time and then just in a word dump kind of a way tell the story to myself if you're not like a word person and you think better through your stories visually you can do this in a lot of ways you can use index cards you can use post-its you can use just pieces of paper and just cut them you can also do this in Scrivener you can do this using a brain map mapping tool app that uh, I think uh, ClickUp has a good uh, brain mapping app so you can use that. I do this better when I'm writing by hand. So I'm going to, I already have some of uh, my uh, scenes written out, very short, like in a few sentences basically, but I have I think four or five scenes that I could visualize in my head when I when that story idea came to me. So I'm going to quickly take that and just use my paper and pen, scribble some things just to get a list of what could be happening in the story. And my battery is dying, so I'm going to put this for charge and I'll see you in a little bit. A few hours later. Now there are many different methods you can use to outline your book and I have found that most authors have a mishmash of different types of outlining methods and I have found that to be true to an extent with me as well. I have been trying different types of outlining methods and with my few years of experience I have come up with a mishmash of my own outlining style. But there are a lot of different outlining methods. And if you're new, I would recommend trying different types to see which one resonates with you and makes sense to you and the way you like to write books and you think about stories. The different types of outlining methods that you'll find are hero's journey, three act structure, plot point method, James Bell's method uh, that he calls mirror moment where you start outlining the book from middle out which is a very unique way of doing. And I think to an extent, a lot of us do that. We have a key moment that we think of and then the story kind of spreads out from there. Then there is a slow snowflake method, scenes and sequence method, story grid method, and save the cat method that I keep referring to so often. Try these out, read about them, see what they're about and which one resonates with you and your writing style. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my plotter and uh, use one of their templates. They have a lot of different types of templates for different kind of stories and I'm going to use that and plot the what I have finally written down in my book. So the story idea that I came up with I want to start it as a standalone book, but I 
don't know if it can become uh, a series a few book series i feel there is potential to that but we'll find out let's first start the outlining the first book the only book idea that i have right now i kind of while doing this activity thought about what could be the other if i was to make it into a series what could be the other story i could come up with uh, but i'm not going to distract myself and get into that right now i'm going to stick to what i have here and then just finish with that so what i'm going to do now is just what i have here i'm just going to put that into plotter in the format that they have over there so i'll just share the screen and tell you what i'm doing over there this is the plotter app and i have created a new project they have many templates to choose from or you can add your own template what i like to do is start with the template one of the templates that they have and then tweak it if i want to i'm going with gwen hayes's romancing the beats template i'm naming the project the beats or the plot points are mapped out and they have given you what needs to happen in each of these beats i'm going to use what i have written in my notebook and fill this out i'm adding the characters and filling out what i know about them and the rest i can fill out later on they have different templates to write about your characters as well i can do the same with places and cross reference everything i don't have all the plot points figured out and using a template helps me see what part of the story i don't have so the next thing i'll do is focus on the points the plot points that i don't have and work on them rest of everything else i'm going to fill out off camera finally it's all done i have the story outline all set up in this template i highly recommend trying this out try it out for yourself you saw how quickly that went it's getting me so excited now it's time to fast draft which i'll start tomorrow i'm going to give myself some time to fast draft but looking at how fast the outlining and all this process went it took all of today most of today but i'm just surprised that i could get so much done with so much clarity uh, it's it's a good feeling i have not always been like this so it feels good to good to have all this done in one day but also i have been writing for a long time and i had the a lot of work done not a lot of work but i had quite a few things done beforehand so it went faster and i've been thinking about the story for a long time so it went faster now if you are struggling with a story idea i did a video where i shared a worksheet that you can use with examples from hindi movies i'll link that video up here and i'll see you in the next one Forever free.